हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर उर्वशी शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन दिस सेशन वील बी फोकसिंग ऑन व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय हेडलाइंस हाउ डू वी राइट इफेक्टिव हेडलाइंस एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हेडलाइंस सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द सेशन हेडलाइंस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ हेडलाइंस अ हेडलाइन इज अ विंडो टू अ न्यू स्टोरी thus a headline must fit must tell the story must confirm to newspaper standard and must not just be a label must be safe and must not commit the paper to an opinion a good headline is one that is less than a dozen words summarizes what the reporter has said the earliest newspaper had no headlines on the front page which was devoted entirely to advertisements and the headlines inside did not do much more than announce the subject of the report but today every newspaper has its own style of headlining a story some newspapers give straight hard hitting headlines while some others prefer to give exciting and sensational headings it is normally dependent on the policy of the newspaper It has been found that all daily newspapers in standard size generally, generally prefer to give straight headlines and tabloid throughout the world give sensational headlines. We can say that lead summarizes the story and the headline summarizes the lead. Types of headline. Banner headline. A newspaper headline written in large letters across the width of the page. when heading is given below the name plate of the newspaper and covers all the columns from left to right it is called a ball banner headline some may call it a streamer which also covers the entire column but is generally given on the inside page sometimes streamer may leave one column also so banner headline appear on the front page of the newspaper it is generally given for a new story which is of utmost important or has a maximum impact for example tsunami killing thousands of people maybe a earthquake which uh, shocks the entire country maybe a bomb blast or maybe an attack by a uh, enemy right so these headlines or some assassination of some prominent leader so these headlines are given a banner headline on the front page of the newspaper which covers all the eight columns or seven columns of the newspaper similarly we also have a streamer but streamer is kind of a banner headline which appears on the inside page on the front page the headline which covers the entire columns of a newspaper is called a banner and on the inside page it is known as a streamer next we have skyline for very exceptional and exclusive event the headline of the story sometimes is given over a name plate of the newspaper it is one of the rarest of the red headline which appears it means that event is much more important than the authority of the newspaper then we have a rectangle headline in such headlines all the lines are of equal length from left to right normally it is for three lines but sometimes it can have two or two four lines also hanging indentation which is right justification the heading with more than two or more lines which are justified on the right side and unjustified on the left are called hanging indentation waste headline this is for three lines where the first line and the third line cover the column but the center line is smaller and placed centrally so it gives a shape of the waist full one or one line the headline which is normally single line heading covering all the columns of the story crosser or highlighter crosser are normally one line headline which is given in the middle of the story sometimes in the story few important points are highlighted in the middle of the story they are also included in this category flash flash headline a recent development in the newspaper is to highlight the stories of the inside page on the first page just below the flag 
over line this is one is also known as an eyebrow or a strap line this is normally given over the main heading oval in such headlines middle line is longer than the above and below line it normally gives the shape of an oval and it is normally uh, included when there are three lines in a headline multi deck headings the descending lines get smaller in size after the main heading subheading these are small subsidiary heading in the body of the story then we have symbolic headline this headline will show the special effects of the story then we have left left step headline here the lines of the headlines are justified on the left and they are unjustified on the right step line the headline with two or more lines displayed so as to give an effect of a ladder or a stair inverted pyramid headline in this heading there are three or more lines which centrally set form too large too small in this case they could also be two lines only set in such a fashion which gives a shape of an inverted pyramid now let us look at the characteristics of a headline every new story headline should have an active verb headlines on feature stories can be more creative but aim for complete thoughts headline should be accurate in tone don't put a light headline on a serious story be careful not to put a first day head on a second day story match the tone of the story be original and creative not but not treat and cliche don't repeat the lead in the in a headline write a better headline than the lead and don't give away the punch line of the feature story that has to have a surprise or a suspense in the ending be aware of any unidentified double meaning real life examples of some headlines that were published are old man winter sticks icy finger into virginia teens indicated for drawing in the lake fbi order to assist at atlantean's child slings avoid bad breaks at the end of the line such as dangling preposition or conjunctions tips for writing the headline best headline writers are spontaneous and creative the best headlines instantaneously come to you headline writers have to be best writers at the newspaper many times the best headlines you come up with cannot be printed continuity leads to better headlines one must write them every day day after day to get good at it read others headline to get ideas but doing so isn't necessarily going to make you better headline writer the most effective headlines are those that give an old cliche a new twist readers are familiar with clichés but sometimes different about it will reel in reel them in the more conversational the headline the more readers will like it don't be quick to abandon using articles such as a and and the sometimes these words are needed for clarity also headline styles change over time four part test of each headline is it accurate is it clear is it proper in tone and does it have a twist so we have seen that headlines are the essence of any new story and headlines are a window which attract the reader to read the new story so headline has to be punchy it has to be short crisp clear so that it communicates what the story is all about and lures the readers into reading a story so while writing a headline the headline writer needs to use active voice he should use the words very clearly he should come up with a cliche and must not repeat what is there in the lead so keeping all these things in mind one can develop into a good headline writer over the years after practice so you must read write and rewrite the headline in order to master this art of writing an effective headline thank you for today's session in this session we learnt about
headline and writing styles. Thank you.